This is lesson 1.1, dividing a polynomial by a binomial. This is our first lesson for pre-calculus 12. In this lesson, we're going to tackle two different strategies in which we can divide a polynomial by a binomial. The first is going to be using long division. You may recall long division from elementary school. We're going to do this in the exact same fashion. First thing I want you to note about this first example is that you notice that our polynomial written right here is not written in descending order of powers. We have 2x cubed and then we have the 3x squared way down here um, where our constant is the second term where it should be the last term. If you're ever given something like this, I want to make sure that we always write it in descending order of powers. So that's going to be our first task here today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our binomial, x minus 1, and we're going to divide it into our polynomial, but we're going to rearrange it a little bit. Let's write in descending order of powers. We have 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. So notice how it goes cubed, squared, x, and then the constant term. So what we do here with long division is we think in our heads, what do you multiply x by in order to get 2x cubed? So we're going to multiply x by 2x squared. 2x squared times x gives you 2x cubed, and 2x squared times negative 1 gives you negative 2x squared. So hopefully you can see some of the parallels between just doing regular long division and doing long division with polynomials. Now, just like with regular long division, we're going to subtract. I like to put my subtraction sign with a um, brackets around it right here. The reason uh, you do that is because we're going to have to do two subtractions here. We have 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, which gives you nothing. And then we have 3x squared minus negative 2x squared. The reason why I like the negative right there is so that it doesn't slip into this 2x squared like here. Um, it kind of separates it, if you will. So 3 minus the negative 2 is going to give you 5x squared. And then, like regular long division, we'd bring down our next term, and we do it all over again until we don't have any terms left over. We will take 5x and multiply it by x, which will give you 5x squared. So we'll put the 5x up top. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times negative 1 is negative 5x. We do our subtraction again. I like to put the brackets around it, like I said. Negative 2x minus the 5x is going to give you a positive 3x. And then lastly, let's bring down the 5 and see what we got. We will multiply the x times 3. So 3 times the x is going to give you 3x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Finally, our last subtraction, the 3x is cancel, and we're left with positive 5 minus negative 3 is the same thing as having 8. And so 8 in this circumstance would serve as our remainder. So we have a remainder of 8. We found out that x minus 1 divides into our polynomial 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 times. So that would be our solution to this question. Let's take a look at example two. Example two, I have a note here that says, the polynomial may have some powers of the variable missing. So what we're going to do if that's the case, you'll see like right here we have x to the fourth, x cubed, and then we go straight to x. We don't have an x squared term. If that's ever the case, what I want you to do is I want you to write, so I'm going to kind of slip in right here, a 0x squared. Okay, so if we're ever missing um, any powers of variables, just write a 0x squared. So when we set this one up, when we have our x plus 2 being divided by our polynomial, we'll have 3x to the fourth minus x cubed, and then we're going to put in that 0x squared plus 3x minus 20. Now from here, the same as we did before, this would be a good uh, time for you to maybe pause the video and try this example on your own, and, uh, and then compare it to, to see if uh, you had the same answer as, as I do at the end. So let's give this a try. Uh, what do you have to multiply x by in order to get 3x to the fourth? Well, we're going to multiply it by 3x cubed. 3x cubed times 3x, or sorry, 3x cubed times x gives you 3x to the fourth. 3x cubed times 2 gives you positive 6x cubed. And we're going to subtract. So if we take the negative x cubed and subtract the 6x cubed, we're left with a negative 7x cubed. We'll bring down our next term, the 0x squared that we had put in for the, uh, the missing term there. We bring that down, and then we'll do it all over again. Uh, what do you multiply x to get negative 7x cubed? You're going to multiply by negative 7x squared. So we have negative 7x cubed. Those will cancel, of course. The negative 7 times the 2 is going to give you a negative 14x squared, like so. We will subtract. 0 minus the negative is going to give you a positive 14x squared. Bring down our 3x. x times 14x is going to give you 14x squared. 14x times 2 is 28x. Again, we're subtracting. 
3x minus the 28x is negative 25x. And then bring down finally our last term, the negative 20 is going to give us uh, x times the negative 25, we'll get rid of that term. Negative 25 times x is negative 25x. Negative 25 times 2 is negative 50. And finally we see that we have a remainder of negative 20 minus negative 50 is going to give you 30. Okay, So we have our quotient up here, we have our remainder, we have our binomial, and we have our original polynomial. Now some questions are going to ask you at the very end, once you've done your division here, to write a division statement. And so the division statement looks like this. You take your polynomial, so that's the original term that we have, that would be my polynomial, and then you're going to multiply it by your divisor, which is our binomial right here. And you multiply that by the quotient. So the quotient was up here. This is your polynomial. This is your divisor. And then you add the remainder. So let's do that for this question just so that you can practice what that looks like. So we take our original polynomial. So we will have 3x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 3x minus 20. Notice how I didn't write the, um, the missing term because we don't need to at this stage. Uh, we have my divisor. That comes next. So in this case, we have x plus 2. Because we're multiplying it, I'll put brackets around it. Then we'll take our quotient. The quotient was the solution that we ended up figuring out. That's 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 14x minus 25. And then finally, last but not least, we need to add the remainder. And the remainder is what we had down here, our positive 30. So we will add 30. So this would be known as your division statement. Um, and you'll get that asked from time to time, whether you're doing um, division by long division or what you're going to learn next, which is synthetic division. So the second strategy, uh, as I said, this is synthetic division. This method can be used when the binomial is in the form x minus a. Now you might wonder what the heck that means. Well, x minus a just means that, for instance, we might have the one like we have right here, x plus 2. So that is written in such a, a way that we do not have a leading coefficient in front of the x. So if you ever had like 2x uh, plus 2, you could not do the synthetic division way. The only way that it will ever work is if the leading coefficient is just an x like that. So keep that in mind. So the reason people like this synthetic division, um, quite frankly, is just because it's, it's usually a little bit easier. It's less time consuming. And that's often something that we look for in math. Although I have presented one limitation that we have right there. So it has to be in this format. All right. So let's give this a try. So when you're doing long division, what we do is we take your divisor right here, the x plus 2, and you're going to set it equal to 0. And when you do that, you end up getting x is equal to negative 2. So that's going to be the part that we have on the outside of our division statement here. Now what we do is we only take the leading coefficients. So we're going to take the negative 3 for our fourth uh, power here. We're going to take the positive 2. We're going to take the 3. We're going to take the negative 4. And finally, we have 5, like so. Okay. What I like to do is this term, the last term right there, that's always going to be a remainder. So I like to draw a little box right there. Um, that's just kind of my style. That's how I like to do things. Um, but it's up to you. Now, before, if you recall, I was always writing that negative with the bracket around it. Well, here, we're kind of going to do the opposite. We're going to be adding, like so. Okay. And so here's how it works. You take your initial term right here. You drop it right down and you get negative 3. That's going to be the first kind of term of our quotient, if you will. And now what you do is you multiply all the way through, and you keep adding the term. So I'll show you what I mean. We take negative 3, and we're going to multiply it by the negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. Simple as that. Now we're going to add these two terms together. 2 plus 6 is 8. Then we'll go 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. 3 plus negative 16 is negative 13. And negative 13 times negative 2 is 26. Negative 4 times, or sorry, negative 4 plus 26 is going to give us 22. And last but not least, we have 22 times negative 2 is negative 44. And that's going to give us a remainder when we go and add those together of negative 39. So, what does all this mean? Well, if we were to write the division statement, just like we did for the last question, here's what it would be. You start off with your original polynomial. So my original polynomial would be negative 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. Now if you recall, we take our divisor. Now our divisor is this part that we had right here, so the x plus 2. We're going to multiply that by our quotient. Now our quotient, that's the part that we just found out right down here. 
So the quotient, we go in, if you will, um, the kind of the descending order of powers. If that's our remainder, then this is our constant. This is our x term. This is our x squared term. And this is our x cubed term. So we're going to write this as negative 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 13x plus 22, like so. And last but not least, we have our remainder, which is going to go right here, and it is negative 39. So this is the last example for the lesson on dividing a polynomial by a binomial. I've shown you two different strategies that you can use. One is long division. One is uh, synthetic division. You need to be comfortable with um, using both of them. Um, both of them work for almost every single question, with the one exception that I gave you right here. You just have to make sure that the leading coefficient of your divisor is a 1, like you have right here. Otherwise, you should be good to go. Thanks.